Viva, how are you? Yes, sir. I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm also good. Thank you so much. So it's been a while. We have come live. Yes, sir. It's been a long time. But uh, I always uh, cherish whatever live sessions we have done because it has been always fruitful. Yeah. And I'm sure that our uh, viewers also will think the same. Yes, exactly. Yes. And today's session, we are going to discuss about physiotherapists and what they think about physiotherapy. And that comes to, uh, like, um, that reminds me of a few comments which I'm getting regularly on my videos that uh, students who are actually right now need uh, exams just got over, this counseling is going on. So, so many students are asking, like, whether this physiotherapy course is good because their parents are asking them not to take this course and choose nursing or any other course other than the physiotherapy because they think that... Uh, after physiotherapy, there is no good earning. So I want to ask you, Viva, like, because as you're in final year now, what is your uh, point of view about it? Because you will be soon in the market looking for jobs. So what do you think? Sir, I think actually it's better for female. I mean, female has more demand in the physiotherapy field. Because like sports physiotherapy, we will see. So many uh, sports emerge, ho rahe, hockey, cricket. Where they demand that if female physiotherapists are there, then they will be more comfortable. Because its uh, demand is more than sports, ka, to be honest. So it is a very good scope uh, for females especially. I mean, I don't think there is no scope. Nahi hai. There is, if we are looking at it. Right. So good you told that because so many of them are like mostly females only who are having this doubt. Is there whether we should take physiotherapy or we should just go, go towards nursing or any other course. Uh, so one more point I would like to add. Yes, definitely in sports also the awareness is increasing as well as now it is mandatory that in hospitals also, clinic also, there has to be one or two female physiotherapists so that the female patients are also comfortable. And uh, always, even it's not right now, since beginning I have seen that uh, physiotherapy batches, you will see most of it will be filled with girls in compared to boys. Like if batches of 40 people, 30, uh, I will say 25 will be girls and 15 will be boys. So, yeah. so I don't think others should think like it's not the field for girls because I think it's a very good field for everyone, even for boys as well as girls, right? And then, and then now, as we all uh, know about it, Viva, you are in final year, and we are thinking about ki, like what can be the future options. So, what have you thought about your future? Any plannings are there, sir? Uh, after completing my internship, sabse pehle to, I want to improve my hand skill, hands-on skills, because that is what it is going to matter in future. Ki how fast and how uh, technically, I treat patients, not uh, just like in the through evidence-based practice. So, right. first, hands-on skill improve karna hai and uh, after that, masters. True. All right. So, you have already planned it, right? That you want to do, first you want to gain some experience, learn your, upgrade your skills and then you want to move on to masters. And there can be various other options too, like uh, if people wants to go for it. Uh, have you like... Uh, differentiated any other options other than doing this yes sir there are many options like there is a uh, tele rehabilitation home visits or you can also one, one can also work under the hospitals to improve their hands-on skills because hospitals may be kafi patients ka exposure milta hai or uh, we can also join some clinics maha pe bhi patients ka acha exposure mil sakta hai so, right. these are some of and apart from this, uh, Viva, one more point is what, you know, like uh, nowadays our field is uh, growing, like it's very vast field. Uh, yes, we all are thinking in one direction that we should do MPT or uh, clinics, hospitals, home visits. Apart from that, now there are various options that we have. Like in previous live sessions also, we have discussed about it. Ki, uh, we can do MBA in uh, different fields. Like we can do MHA, MPH, which is hospital administration, public health which are all the, all the fields in which you can uh, flourish as a physio because you are already a healthcare practitioner. And if you go in uh, public health, you have an upper edge because so many MBBS students are also nowadays opting for MPH rather than going for MD because they have a better scope after that. So that is something used to happen. Nowadays, what is happening, you know, that people are now started opting for other uh, things like, uh, I would say, like uh, in academic sections. Like, for example, you are going for MPT. But there is also like courses for like uh, academic excellence. Like what are the different ways of teaching and learning methods. So those things are also now introduced for physios. I would say because many good universities have started uh, PG diplomas. 
then master's courses in hospital uh, this thing academician so those all options are also open for us and last time i think we also discussed about that insurance ka thing like in insurance companies also now physios are getting hired something like that uh, yes 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 so i would say that various options are there being a bpt students or interns we should not only think in one direction that these are the only options because yes you are already formed about uh, doing masters and that is a really good thing there will be few people who will be confused like still whether i should do mpt or i should continue with uh, some other field you know you must be knowing in your basement also some people will be having that confusion they're so not sure can i yes. think yes 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 so for them maybe this options will be working yeah. like mba in sports management is there see we know that mpt in sports okay fine mba in sports management means you will be working with team like how to manage the teams and all because in our college there is one person who is always good in managing skills they will be managing yes. our trips or something like that so they can maybe they will be interested in all these things so these are the options for uh, post bpt to do yes sir right have you heard of this options before so itna nahi suna tha but now i got to know there are much more options yes. other than these yes sir True. now before moving on uh, there are few questions in our uh, chat box the first question is what's the average earning in physiotherapy what do you think average earning sir it will depend uh, on the location which we are working or the hospitals but initially uh, thoda kam se start hoga but as we gain experiences badhte jayega true i think my image is stuck now yes sir because i got a call but hopefully in few minutes it will be fine but uh, all right we'll just continue with this session anything else we can do for this uh, image so we can rejoin if it's possible okay we'll do that then i'll just go out and i'll come back i'll do that okay oh it, if i go out it will actually end the live session Yeah, yeah. Okay, so fine. We shall start the live again. I think we'll do that because there are few questions in this. Uh, I'll just tell you. I'm starting BPT this year. Any advice? There is one question. Then we are more than sixty students in one batch who joined physiotherapy, and I'm a third year student of physiotherapy. Okay, fine. So I'll do one thing. I'll just go out and I'll come back. Guys, we'll be back in just one minute. Yeah. Yes, we are live again. sorry everyone for breaking the rhythm but yes we'll continue with the same uh, topic so you were asking about i think uh, for the advice. first question was, yeah advice for the first year somebody right yeah first year ke liye advice to i think vipa will be giving best because she already makes videos about it so aapko best advice usi se milegi just study consistently and uh, enjoy your college life i would say because these days won't come back that's it for Perfect. more details you can watch my videos all right so now viva is already in like uh, nostalgic mode that she is soon getting to finish final year so that is what she is telling she is giving you advice ki bhai log enjoy <laughs> kar lo college days wapas nahi aane wale hain and that is true also actually yes then the next question about third year okay fine so thank you so much for joining and you will learn lots of things uh, when you are joining this live sessions because you can uh, visit our previous live sessions also to learn about uh, so many things in the field of physiotherapy because i think we have done uh, two or three lives and that one was especially only about sports physiotherapy and one more was just to yes no about the uh, normal physiotherapy questions and answers we have done so i guess yeah that would be great so eva now when we are talking about we already spoke about the different options uh, after physiotherapy now what do you think how much we physios have awareness about physiotherapy because that's a real question for me and i really want to talk about that sir so actually many of them uh, which i have seen they go towards uh, some other techniques which are not um, in our syllabus or not included in our cur- curriculum So like needling or cupping, so right. I don't think that much awareness is uh, there among the people. But now, so first, okay, even I, I, I always think about that. But what do you think can be the reason that people are running behind all these techniques? 
because uh, the patients demand like me ko needling karna hai me ko cupping hi karna hai so but the patients do not know what is the physiology behind it it is right. the one who, you know like hame zyada pata hota hai ki as compared to patients isse kya effects hoga so first hame hi aware hona zyada important hai and also can we say that uh, ki like students are nowadays more fascinated by all these techniques and uh, just for the sake of doing they'll be doing it and then after that they don't care about the result but they just do it yes sir right yes. and uh, are there still like it's things are happening like uh, you know during final year or third year itself they'll start going for uh, treating patients individually or you know uh, by single handedly they will handle the patient without informing patient that they are still students like these things are still going on yes sir somewhere or the other chal raha hai but there is no one to stop but hame hi khud ko rokna chahiye for this yes so this is what uh, i mean when i say that physios have to be aware about physiotherapy first because unless and, and until we understand our responsibilities we understand our ethics and professionalism these things will never grow that's the most uh, important thing we all need to understand because see as a ethical practice as a professional practice it is mandatory that we have a valid degree first and then we start treating uh, patients independently but nowadays what is happening that um, what i have observed is every students have that kind of uh, thinking in their mind that uh, no like we have to earn our money we need to pay back our parents uh, we need to you know spend uh, whatever expenses we are doing we have to do by ourselves and all so because of those all things they start treating uh, all the patients and everything and then somehow they do injustice with the patient they do injustice with the profession and because exactly. of that the profession gets blamed and you know lots of things happens because of that and ultimately what will happen when that student is going for job or uh, you know working they will uh, get the reflection of that because they will not get paid well they will not be respected well so i think this is something we all start understanding from the beginning that unless and until you be ethical and professional it will never change things will keep on going in the same circle again and again and uh, that is what uh, like uh, when you spoke about course curriculum because different techniques people are crazy about i want to tell this to all the people who are live right now that guys uh, even if today you just open uh, course and curriculum for uk you open the course and curriculum for apta which is australian physiotherapy then you open curriculum for wcpt which has been given there is no where it is mentioned that you have to learn needling or cupping therapy yeah. yeah because they they are actually the therapists which are not exactly science based so we don't have to really uh, be into that we have to first learn what is important for us what are the basic uh, courses that are being taught to us i am i know that there are a few courses which are again irrelevant what we are studying right now and that also has to be changed it's not like only one way it is yes it is two ways but we need to correct first whatever is in our hand like at least we should not uh, go and learn the different things which are actually not in our scope of practice so only that is a way we can i think uh, resolve this issue and for that we all have to come up and understand what is our course and curriculum and uh, what can be the different techniques that really comes under our scope so for that all the students should be aware of the syllabus ki aakhir hai kya syllabus mein because yes. most of them ye kar rahe the chal hum bhi kar lete hai chal dekh lete kya hai aisa aisa ho raha hai sir yes aur isme ek aur cheez kya hai pata hai viva ki i i don't i don't blame students completely kyunki abhi students ko bhi aisa hai ki yaar humko kuch naya to karna hai ha ab naya karna hai aapko to naya karne ke liye you just go to the things which are actually good for patients actually good for the profession like abhi you also told me about this ki uh, ai pe pura conference ho raha hai ki ai in healthcare yes. तो यार ऐसा कुछ सीखो कि मतलब आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का जमाना आने ही वाला है तो व्हाई डोंट वी लर्न अबाउट दिस कि अब कैसे फिजियोथेरापी में एआई को यूज करे कैसे वीआर को यूज करे तो वो सारी चीजें हम सीखेंगे जैसा भी मेरे एक मतलब मेंटर है डॉक्टर वकार नकवी मैंने उनके साथ बहुत पहले एक इंटरव्यू भी किया था ही इज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र राइट नाउ इज वर्किंग इन गल्फ ही ही ओनली टोल्ड मी आई हैव डन वन इंटरव्यू विद हिम रिसेंटली आल्सो आई विल बी पोस्टिंग अबाउट दैट बट ही ओनली गाइडेड मी अबाउट इट कि see we cannot completely blame students but also it's also like about faculties who are guiding students unko bhi pata na ki ye sare options hai tumhare paas to go in that particular right direction 
तो अभी आपके पास अगर कॉन्फ्रेंसिस हो रहे हैं आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस पे ज्वाइन करो मैं खुद भी जाने वाला हूँ क्योंकि मुझे भी सीखने का उतना मन है क्योंकि अगर वो नहीं सीखेंगे तो आगे जाके ऐसा हो सकता है कि यार विल बी अगेन द सेम यू नो कि नहीं कुछ नया नहीं कर रहे हो वही कर रहे हो तो तक कुछ नया करने का मन है तो वो करो जो सब एथिकली कर सकते हो यस प्रोफेशनली आप कर सकते हो यस एंड एथिकल प्रैक्टिस और प्रोफेशनलिज्म में तो हम बहुत लैक करते हैं क्योंकि हम वो सब्जेक्ट्स को पढ़ते ही नहीं है मतलब कोर्स में है हमारे वो सब्जेक्ट्स पर क्योंकि उनके एग्जाम्स नहीं होती इसलिए हम उसको उतना वैल्यू नहीं देते द थिंग इज दैट पर हमें आई फील कि हमें पढ़ना चाहिए वो चीज़ें क्योंकि उससे काफ़ी चीज़ें इम्प्रोवाइज हो सकती है प्रोफेशनली और ये जो कोई क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है कि वाई सो मच पेशेंस आर अवेयर अबाउट कपिंग तो उसका सेम आई वुड से यार जो सोशल मीडिया पे चल रहा है अभी हम लोग ऐसे नहीं कह सकते कि सोशल मीडिया पे जो भी चल रहा है सब कुछ सही है और ऐसा भी नहीं कि सब कुछ गलत भी है देर आर सम वैल्यू बेस्ड इंफॉर्मेशन विच यू शुड फॉलो एंड जो नहीं है उसको सिर्फ देखो जबरदस्ती फॉलो करने की जरूरत भी नहीं है आपको सिंपल इतनी सी बात है yes. सर इन प्रीवियस लाइव सेशन यू आल्सो टोल्ड मी कि रीड द रिसर्च पेपर्स मतलब जितना हो सकता है उतना उसमें से वी विल गेन मोर नॉलेज एज कंपेयर टू एनी अदर थिंग्स क्योंकि उस प्रूफ क्या हुआ रहता है ये हो चुका है इसका ये रिजल्ट है हां और ऐसा भी है ना विभा कि बहुत सारे आर्टिकल्स आते हैं कि लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर नीडल्स एंड कपिंग आल्सो देयर आर आर्टिकल्स पर आप अगर वो अच्छे से पढ़ोगे ना तो आपको पता चलेगा कि व्हेन दे आर कंपेयर्ड विद अदर ट्रीटमेंट्स दे आर नॉट एज इफेक्टिव मतलब कैसे होता है ना कि वो ऐसे दिखाते कि नहीं वो इफेक्टिव है ठीक है इफेक्टिव है पर अभी आप कंपेयर करो उसको कि वही सेम कंडीशन में कि मैं फॉर एग्जांपल कोई एक्सरसाइज दे रहा हूँ और नीडल दे रहा हूँ तो आप जब कंपेयर करोगे तो पता चलेगा एक्सरसाइज वाला पेशेंट जल्दी ही रिकवर हो रहा है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि एकदम ही बेकार चीज है वो पर हाँ ऐसा भी है कि उससे भी बहुत अच्छी चीजें हम ऑलरेडी प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं फिजियो तो फिर क्यों उस साइड जाए ही ऐसे हम भी कहीं ना कहीं लैक करते कि यार हम लोग भी ऐसे नहीं कर पाते कि स्टूडेंट्स को ऐसे गाइड करे की नहीं यार देखो ये टेक्निक से बेटर ये वाली टेक्निक है जिसके आपको प्रूफ्स दिए जाए कि आप ये जाके सीखो ये करो तो जब तक वो प्रोफेसर से नहीं आएगा ना तब तक स्टूडेंट भी नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि ऐसा होगा कि जो कॉलेज में सीखा है वही वो बाहर जाके करने वाले तो कहीं ना कहीं वो चीजें भी हमें इम्प्रोवाइज uh, करनी है वो मैं रियलाइज किया हूँ आई थिंक आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट डेफिनेटली एंड स्लोली स्लोली बहुत सारे लोग भी करेंगे ये चीजें ताकि इस चीज में एक बदलाव हम देख सके जो सर्कल में चीजें चल रही है वो स्टॉप हो जाए क्योंकि बहुत सारे मतलब जो प्रोफेशनल्स है जो मेंटर्स है वो ऑलरेडी बोल रहे हैं कि मतलब ये सारी चीजें कैसी है कि फाइट एंड उसमें गायब हो जाएगी पता भी नहीं चले जैसे कपिंग मेडलिंग वगैरह हम जो बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि उसका कोई एक्चुअल में इफेक्ट पेशेंट्स में नहीं हो रहा पर हाँ द थिंग्स विच आर गोइंग टू कम अप आर लाइक आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ए आर वी आर वो सारी चीजों पर अगर आप फोकस करोगे तो डेफिनेटली आप कुछ नया भी करोगे और पेशेंट को बेटरमेंट भी दे पाओगे Yes. We have to learn the use of AI. मतलब AI को हमारे लिए कैसे काम करवाना है उसके बेसिस पे ही we will uh, boom in future. I think when we spoke, I told you about one thing, right? That uh, till now we are using AI. मतलब chat GPT हम सभी यूज़ कर रहे हैं. हाँ, पर uh, properly use करना हम नहीं जानते. वो हमें सीखना पड़ेगा. वो सीखना है बस. Simple सा logic. और आजकल मतलब कैसा है कि अगर हम जल्दी सीख जाएंगे तो शायद हम लोगों को सीखा भी सकेंगे. ऐसा है. Yes, and about the people who are doing home visits uh, from their college life, so I really suggest you don't do that, because that is not really your uh, bread and butter right now. Right now, your uh, work is to learn as much as you can, to get exposure as much as you can, to get skilled as much as you can. Internship is the time when you start experimenting. and after that you know now that okay what has to be done for the patient because your patients are actually not guinea pigs they are actually human beings you cannot just go and experiment something and come back yeah sometimes it works for us i know that 
but most of the time it will happen that they will not get benefits out of it and they only will tell that physiotherapy is not good mm. and ultimately it will come back to you only so don't do that because complete knowledge we are not having till we complete our internship true 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 and also now uh, i think uh, somebody asked me about it like is sir what about manual therapy and uh, mobilization so what is your views about it whether it is uh, old ancient or it should be practiced uh, right now also if we are certified in it so we can practice because we have completed the course we have learned the proper forces biomechanics behind it then we can practice it but aise hi without certification uh, i don't think it's ethical or we should practice it right for so for for that also like our course has uh, uh, subjects like uh, we are learning uh, maintenance uh, mobilization yes and in few colleges professors will teach about it yeah, okay if you want to learn more about uh, mulligan's concept you want to learn more about mckenzie's concept they will teach about it definitely if you have learned like that and you have uh, like uh, practiced it under proper observation do it and it is not outdated guys it's still working and it's still doing good things for the patients yes um okay now somebody is asking can you suggest some workshops which will help in clinical practice more uh sure there are uh, many workshops like just now we were told that uh, manual therapy and uh, other workshops are going on but make sure that you're not doing uh, again in this also conflict of interest comes when you are doing something out of your scope like chiropractic people are going crazy about chiropractic in the names of mobilization so that is not exactly mobilization for chiropractic you must do minimum 6 months of course if you are doing 2 days of uh, some workshop and calling yourself a chiropractor then you are stupid don't do that Okay. so there are many cases um, in village side like they just put on the banner that we are physiotherapist and uh, the villagers the normal people they are not aware ki acha iske paas achhi degree hai license hai yani naam likha hai to hoga chalo jate hai but this incidents happened recently uh, in our area so patients ja rahe hai pura flow bad raha hai but uh, that person who is not having the license and uh, he has not completed the course but he assumes himself that i am a physiotherapist and there is something called natural therapy i don't know exactly about it hmm. so we do no courses we combine the both of them and uh, we give therapy uh, yes you will be cured uh, like one patient uh, he was in his pivd stage 4 so matlab hmm. surgery recommended tha wo patient ko but still he the uh, uh that person was like nahi nahi hum theek kar denge aa jao that's what so was... yeah so this is like lack of awareness from patient side as well as the therapist side abhi koi patient bhi jaake kabhi puchta nahi hai therapist ke bhai tera certificate tera degree kya hai yeah. right yeah. so i think now we all should start doing that like when you go for uh, treating patient we have to tell okay i am uh, like for example how we do in the practical exams like first we go and introduce ourselves to model that i am so and so i am in uh, final year student and i'll be performing this 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 so if you have any discomfort please let me know see this is again when i told that ethics and professionalism we should learn about it we are simply ignoring it because we don't have to give a, a exam of it but if you study that you will know about it, that we should introduce ourselves that way so when you start doing that definitely patients will understand yeah okay the real therapist who is there they will have a degree who have completed a degree and then they will be performing certain and they have some ethics and professionalism this people what you are talking about they will also walk on their back and they will do some nonsense things also and still patients will let them do it right like how uh, we see certain videos of like hallelujah and all, you know some <laughs> yeah. people are doing yeah <laughs> so it's like that's why i mentioned like social media gives you so many things you need to validate it and then you have to believe it simple as that uh what should students do after completing bpt join hospital or npt which will be good and your option opinion on it well uh, you can do anything you can join hospital also you can do npt also as the starting of the live session only we discussed about it there are various options uh, it's not compulsory you do only npt it's not compulsory you only do hospital there are many things you can do so i would say that uh, keep your keep exploring and uh, make sure that whatever you do you have interest in it 
Is it difficult to do MPT at Australia? Yes, it is difficult. Physiotherapy and chiropractor are safe. Can I do chiropractor after physiotherapy? Oh God, no, it's not safe. It's completely different. Uh, if you want to do chiropractic, then you do minimum six months of course, then only you do it. Hmm. Content creation physiotherapy video. What is going on, bro? If you have the skills, then do it. Definitely do it. Can you please suggest some workshops on improving clinical practice? I think I just did. You can just go back and see that session. Apart from that, if you have any uh, questions, you can keep asking us. There is one question for you, Viva, which is like, which year was more hard for you? First, you go for it, then I will tell about it. Okay. Yes. So, initially, first year, it was a little difficult for me. क्योंकि तभी सब कुछ नया नया था जस्ट ट्वेल्थ पास ट्वेल्थ पास आउट थे नीट लिए के आए थे सो so, कैसा स्केड्यूल रखना है कैसे पढ़ना है उसका इतना आइडिया नहीं था सो ये जैसे जैसे इयर्स पास होते गए आई गॉट एन आइडिया कि ओके okay, ये स्ट्रेटेजी है इसको फॉलो करना है एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली हमारे सीनियर्स दे हैव हेल्प मी अलॉट मतलब सीनियर्स बहुत मदद हुआ है उनसे सीनियर्स होना बहुत जरूरी है सीरियसली एग्जैक्टली मतलब जो लास्ट मोमेंट टिप होता है ना एग्जाम के लिए कि ये कर ये कर ये कर दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रू ट्रू यस आई थिंक अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आल्सो फर्स्ट ईयर इज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट ईयर क्योंकि जैसे रीवा ने भी बोला लाइक यू आर इन अ न्यू कांसेप्ट यू आर यू आर इनटू समथिंग न्यू एनाटॉमी आ जाता है बायोमैकेनिक्स आ जाता है मतलब यू आर ऑलरेडी नॉट इनटू दैट जोन सो यस इट्स अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट बट वंस यू जस्ट गो विद इट and you start understanding the concepts and second third final year i think uh, yeah you already know what to do about it so first year will be the difficult i would say uh somebody is asking about apc exam so apc exam is like uh, australian physical therapy uh, this exam is there and uh, for this exam preparation mainly you need to know proper assessment skills differential diagnosis skills as well as uh, uh, how you give treatment so everywhere other than india right now you go they focus more on patient safety so how safe you keep your patients that is their priority so whichever case you are getting you have to think in that direction that patient has to be the safe that should be your first priority second priority should be that uh, you are making a good diagnosis like uh, you know proper differential diagnosis of that particular condition and then you are coming to one point and the third point comes that your rehabilitation protocol how you are designing it and if you really want to prepare for it uh, there uh, there is a series on my channel which your quest you will find so many questions relevant to like uh, real time case scenarios and from that you will learn a lot about like okay, what can be the assessment skills differential diagnosis skills and everything and then that will help you for the exam um yes okay tell me uh, tell us how to give practical exam what examiner expects from students and some tips from your side so we by you uh, you have given already uh, three four uh, three uh, viva right final viva yes viva. sir so you tell us how do you prepare for viva and what do you think examiners will be expecting from the students sir matlab uh, honestly examiners they want the basics they want to know your concept i think matlab agar hamara concept clear hoga to we will we will be able to answer it uh, in one go the we will not need to think ki acha aisa hoga aisa hoga agar atta mara hoga to of course nahi aayega but agar hamara base clear hai so to we can answer it proper properly perfect yes you are you are actually right being a examiner for example if i am going for examination yes i look for uh, see it is always like in examiner's mind it is like uh, ratio of 70 uh, 20 and 10 70 percentage questions they will be asking mostly about the basics then 20 percentage they will ask a little bit complicated questions if you answer 70 percentage of the questions then the 20 percent will come and last 10 percentage will be like the difficult questions which you might be able to answer might not be able to answer so examiners like as an examiner how i paper is like uh, 70 percent of the questions which are easily to be answered 20 percent may or may not be answered and the 10 percent will be difficult ones so that way the examiner prepares and the most important thing for examiners uh, is uh, your discipline and manners even though you are not answering okay fine they will still let go you but if you are indisciplined if you are not mannered well 
बैन बॉस आपको वो जो टेन परसेंट डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है वही सबसे पहले मिलेंगे एंड यू बी कॉल सो दैट्स माय टिप फॉर यू ऑल दैट एट लीस्ट बी मैनर्ड एंड डिसिप्लिन व्हेन यू आर गोइंग फॉर वाइल्ड लाइफ स्टार्स राइट विबा यू मस्ट हैव सीन नो योर बैचमेट्स गेटिंग स्क्रूड समटाइम्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ एटीट्यूड व्हाट दे हैव yeah so yeah so examiners don't like basically your attitude at that at point of time yes okay somebody is asking for first year classes video i think kishore you should visit vipas channel for that there are lots of videos she has uploaded about first year second year third year so you will learn a lot from that and there are few videos on my channel too but i think she has uploaded maximum of that uh to do mpt is it compulsory to answer entrance exam yes if you want to do it from good colleges good universities it is compulsory uh if you just want to apply for mpt in some colleges places where entrance exam is not there that option is also there but yeah most of the places good places you have to apply for entrance exam sir for maharashtra also there is pgp cet jo bhi first september ko hi hone wali hai oh what okay. delay But yeah, all the best for all the students who are appearing for it. I really wish that you will be uh, having a good, yes, good scoring uh, marks in that exam. Okay, somebody is asking, how much do you know about government bodies, control, physios? What are government governing bodies? Well, right now in India, we have this NCAHP. which you should know about national council of allied health and professionals under which physiotherapy comes and the work is going well i would say though it was passed to the passed the bill in 2020 but yeah right now it's going really good maybe by the end of this year we will see that all the states will be having their branches and you know lots of changes might come and if you want to know more about nchp i have made uh, two videos about it that also you can see um pravara institute of medical science i i think that's a really good college uh, viba have you heard about this college your voice is not coming viba oh, so is it coming yes now it is coming perfect yes So, so Pravara University, uh, it's a deemed university, and I have visited there for a conference, uh, which was held in 2022. It's a good university, but वहाँ पे भी मास्टर्स हो चुके हैं अगले दो साल के. Oh wow! No, already it's booked. <laughs> nice. So yeah, it should be a good university. Then only people are like pre-booking in, maybe. Perfect. Recently, they have started uh, masters for sports also. Sports and between. Perfect. Nice. Hmm. So, which hospitals are better for internship, government or private? What do you think? Hospitals for internship. So, government में ज़्यादा patients देखने मिलते हैं I think क्योंकि थोड़ा कम मतलब पैसों में हो जाता है treatment. <laughs> Very honest answer. Nice. I like that. <laughs> Yes, so that is like in terms of exposure, definitely uh, government hospitals you have very good exposure. But if you again look at this, uh, private hospitals will give you, uh, you know, proper guidance to professionalism. So I would say do fifty fifty if it is possible. Or uh, yes, you know, yeah, because uh, professionalism really matters a lot. If you don't have it, uh, it's like what you know. Uh, we can have uh, pow bhaji. in street also we can have in uh, five star restaurant also three star also four star also and we know that obviously uh, on street it is more tastier like uh, when you go to eat it but when you want to sit calmly and enjoy it you go to some good hotels so same way if you have uh, professionalism you will get good that kind of clients or patients so it's all up to you 
so i would say mix it up because exposure is very important to learn and upgrade your skills same time even the professionalism is important all right uh, so rajo vanul parvez roni thank you for watching from bangladesh buddy and academic excellence is something new which i have heard yeah that is actually something new and it should be implicated for everyone because i guess now every college is are going to start with like um, faculty development programs so faculties have to also attend certain uh, things uh, modules so that they can give uh, better uh, education to our students and for that yeah lots of things should come up like course changes in courses curriculum everything but yeah things will start in that direction soon yes और बताओ विवाह कई लोग ये कमेंट्स में ऐसे लिख रहे हैं कि मतलब इंग्लिश में बोलो कई लोग बोल रहे हैं हिंदी में बोलो सो व्हाट शुड वी डू इन दिस नाउ बोथ इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी राइट ये इंग्लिश हिंदी के चक्कर में ना कभी हम ये हो जाएंगे मतलब एक काम करेंगे विल कीप अ सेपरेट लाइव सेशन फॉर हिंदी विल कीप अ सेपरेट लाइव सेशन फॉर इंग्लिश आल्सो या दैट वुड बी बेटर ओके वन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ थेरेपिस्ट डू यू नो <laughs> like in physiotherapy or some other field? you can tell anything like because it is written over here in the comment section playful mind is asked uh piyush mehta therapists there are physiotherapists and okay I- i'll tell you like see like um, there are physiotherapists who will be like uh, completely into uh, showing off they'll come to the clinic uh, they will just uh, like show that they know everything but they will ask all the other physios to do the work like that therapists are there then there are certain physiotherapists who are like they cannot say no to patients so you know we have that situation you know, all the time that uh, patients will come with that uh, one uh, prescription from orthopedician or somebody is stating that you have to give stability traction and everything then they will simply follow it without like even understanding whether they really require stability or uh, attraction uh, or not because of course we physios have assessment skills we do assess patients and after that we decide about what what modalities we should give not the other doctors will decide that yeah because we know the physiology and um, mechanism behind it so we could give it in a better way exactly so there are different types of people like that anyways now for so when we speak about physiotherapy knowing physiotherapy awareness so we talk about this uh, again few more points are there that we should discuss i think that uh, when you are practicing physiotherapy and there are certain times it will happen that that condition is out of our scope so what exactly should we do in that particular time okay so like example can you give example let's create a situation that patient has come with uh, low back pain we uh, tried uh, assessing the patient with their history uh, history patient is telling that it has suddenly started there is no trauma there is no activities that patient has done then we go for uh, observation we find out that yes mild uh, inflammatory signs are there and patient's uh, range of motion also a little bit restricted then we go for examination for the examining the same points of time tenderness is present over the back and it is not like ki only active movement is causing the pain but also passive movement is causing the pain also resisted is causing the pain patient is getting pain at rest also patient is getting pain at activities also we perform special test all the special tests are coming positive like slump is also positive slr also positive faber also positive and or let's say that none of them are positive so in this situation what will you think that what we should do so because all these things the it is difficult to come to one particular diagnosis so i think we should uh, ask the patient to get the mri done so that it will be confirmed ki aisa kuch hai okay see now okay so okay you thought in that direction good so at least you will not treat that patient immediately but you will uh, mention patient that you should go for some other reference right yeah yeah yes so that's that's what i was trying to come to the point that what happens in such situations that it will happen to any therapist like for example tomorrow i start a clinic 
and tomorrow i get uh, five patients and i am treating them next uh, day i am getting only three patients day after that i am getting again five patients but i want more patient and in that one patient is like this and without even thinking about referring patient to somebody else i just simply start treating the patient now imagine what if that patient had a tumor in the spine mm. and you are giving some uh, superficial eating modalities you are giving some range of motion exercises and after a certain period of time like one month or uh, one and half month the pain increases suddenly and then patient goes for scanning and they figure out that there was a tumor and now it is spreading to other parts of the body now whose mistake it is it has started by us because we yeah. not start exactly so what situation i gave you know it was typically a situation in which you will see the patient who are having any uh, i would say carcinogenic conditions or it can be related to some organ related injuries because when you have soft tissue related injuries you will see that active movements will cause more pain if it is related to something like any trauma so history of trauma will be there then then if it is something like uh, other structures and you know, like spine is involved then definitely certain movements will give you a uh, confirmation of the pain like special tests when you do it now none of this is getting confirmed then it is definitely out of your scope so in this particular period of time we consider them as a red flag for physiotherapy treatment and we have to send them to reference for any physician who will be give, who will be asking them to undergo some scanning they will confirm there is nothing wrong with it then only we should again take that patient and start reassessing the patient so this is the kind of awareness we physios have to uh, raise amongst us all that if such cases are coming to us don't try to treat them immediately at least give them some time refer them and once they are confirmed they are not having any of the red flag situation then only you treat them so there is something called green flag red flag and yellow flags yellow which flags. we learn already in uh, i think uh, assessment also but we forget to practice it when we are actually practicing it right yes uh, i thought when patient is having sciatic and cervical spondylosis or a lumbar spondylosis that chiropractic is effective because i saw the video on uh, you that doctor just do whole body alignment and patient is okay yeah so that's what on the videos what you are seeing that might not be correct again always uh, know the value of that content how much accurate it is don't believe them directly real versus real yes i think we all have made that kind of videos like viva also has made even i have made what is the difference between between chiropractic and physiotherapy how physiotherapists are helping you much better way in compared to chiropractic and how chiropractic can be dangerous for you also sometimes so please go through them in a scientific way uh this is very interesting question that how to get job in private hospital can i get a job without any connections yes you can i think if you have skills if you are knowledgeable then you can get without skills nobody will hire you and if with connection you get hired also it is of no use so don't even think about that yeah it will be again headache for patients headache for management because you don't know anything so always work on your skills upgrade your skills and that will work for you yes so i guess um, this is enough for today's live uh, eva we have discussed a lot of point if you have anything to include in this or if you want to add anything to this please go ahead no so at such comments may be we have covered all the comments i think perfect so next live session kya topic pe rakhna hai anybody has any suggestions please let us know in the comment section we'll wait for your suggestions for 5 minutes and i guess uh, by that time even uh, from our point of view also what all live we can do we can discuss about that also like any next live so do you have you thought of any topic for next live sessions so matlab kafi log puchte hai ki admission process ke bare mein puchte hai ki kaise admission lena hai उसके ऊपर भी आई मेड अ वीडियो बट इन डेप्थ अगर और लोगों को चाहिए तो वी कैन टॉक अबाउट इट परफेक्ट एक्चुअली इट्स इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि अभी एडमिशन टाइम भी चल रहा है तो काफी बच्चों को वो कंफ्यूजन होगा तो लेट्स डू दैट आई थिंक नेक्स्ट वीक वी कैन डू अबाउट इट एडमिशन प्रोसेस और वी विल डू लिटिल अर्ली विल नॉट वेट फॉर द सैटरडे और फ्राइडे 
तो अगर मंडे ट्यूसडे वेडनेसडे में कभी भी अगर फ्री है तो आई थिंक ये भी और साथ में बेस्ट कॉलेज पे भी हम एक वीडियो मतलब लाइव सेशन कर सकते हैं राइट ऑन वीडियो असेसमेंट वी हैव डिड अ लाइव ऑन ऑर्थोपेडिक असेसमेंट यू कैन चेक आवर लाइव यस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दैट लाइव सेशन सो वी कैन सेंड दैट आउट इट विल बी देयर इन बोथ ऑफ आवर प्रोफाइल्स सो यू कैन जस्ट गो सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फर्स्ट एंड देन यू कैन चेक इट आउट या Yes. And then how is your channel growing, uh, Viva? Like uh, how is it going with your channel? So it's going thoda moderately. It's not just flying, but chal raha. Yeah, chal raha hai tab tak okay, fine, good, nice. Same thing with yeah. me also actually. Lots of views comes, but subscriptions are less. Less. Exactly. Subscribed people there only twenty to twenty five percent. Rest all they are they are not subscribed to the channel. और उसका कोई सलूशन पता है तुम्हें सर वी जस्ट हैव टू कीप टेलिंग सब्सक्राइब राइट यू नो एंड लाइक दैट ओनली मतलब क्या करेंगे पता नहीं ठीक है पर जब तक जितने सब्सक्राइबर्स हैं उनके लिए तो बहुत बड़ा थैंक यू बिकॉज़ यू हैड रियली अंडरस्टूड द वैल्यू ऑफ आवर कंटेंट सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट एंड कीप शेयरिंग विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट इवन दे विल गेट बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दैट so what about uh, your physios and mountains would you like to share something sure so physios and mountain is actually very close to my heart event uh, i have thought about it like uh, for this world physiotherapy day celebration uh, it is something different uh, rather than going for any conferences workshops because this time uh, we are targeting to make connections and networks with other physios coming from different parts of india कि यार आओ मिलो बातें करो बताओ कि लाइक कैसे तुम्हारे वहाँ पे प्रैक्टिस चल रहा है क्या तुम कैसे इम्प्रोवाइज कर रहे हो या फिर किसी स्ट्रगल वाली सिचुएशन में कैसे उससे बाहर आ रहे हो तो मतलब इट्स लाइक शेयरिंग ओपिनियंस लाइक हाउ वी आर शेयरिंग ओपिनियंस ओवर हियर बट इट विल बी लाइव लाइफ एंड दैट टू ऑन अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल लोकेशन दैट्स रियली मैटर्स तो एक छोटा सा ब्रेक भी होगा हमारे लिए और नेटवर्किंग uh, भी करेंगे क्योंकि फ्यूचर में आई वॉट आई फील इज कि आगे जाके ऐसा ही होगा कि यार कल जाके मुझे फॉर एग्जाम्पल मनाली जाना है या फिर मुझे हैदराबाद जाना है या चेन्नई जाना है तो मैं किसी ना किसी फिजियो को वहाँ पे जानता हूँ और उसके साथ जाके मैं डायरेक्टली कुछ शुरू कर सकता हूँ तो आई फील कि जो यंग फिजियोज है जो अभी शुरुआत कर रहे हैं उनके लिए बहुत बढ़िया सा अपॉर्चुनिटी है टू लर्न एंड टॉक अबाउट दिस एंड प्लस यस वर्ल्ड फिजियोथेरापी डे है तो उसकी भी अवेयरनेस के लिए भी हम लोग मिल रहे हैं अब मेरा पहला टारगेट तो यही है कि फिजियोज में अवेयरनेस लाना है उसके बाद पेशेंट्स में लाना है तो दोनों ही चीज़ें वहाँ पर हो जाएगी तो In a way, yes, it's going to be a very fruitful event. Already excited for it. हमने एक और meetup भी plan किया है वहाँ पे like sixth को हम लोग वहाँ पे decathlon देहरादून में मिल रहे हैं सब लोग तो अगर कोई देहरादून से है तो वहाँ पे आ सकता है. It's a just meetup is there. We are going to play cricket and different games in decathlon for two to three hours. So again, that that is going to be a fun activity session for all the physios and whoever is coming in there. तो ऐसा है। want to come but uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. If situation permits, time permits, time definitely you should come. Yeah. तो तो कभी ना कभी कुछ ना कुछ तो करते रहेंगे बट या दीज आर दर्चुनिटीज एक्चुअली लाइक वेरी रेयरली वी गेट एंड आई सेड लाइक दिस इज समिफरेंट इवेंट दैट नॉर्मली वी विल नॉट सी इन फिजियोथेरापी थ्रू सो वी शुड कीप ऑन डूइंग दिस नेक्स्ट टाइम मे बी वी कैन प्लान समथिंग टू गेट Yeah. So do plan something in Mumbai. I'll be definitely here. <laughs> okay, then we will we'll think of something. Actually, Mumbai already very crowded, isn't it? Yeah, it is, sir. But. Okay, good. Good location. One thing, do you only find out, and then we'll plan something in there. Directly. Okay. Is where the physios can meet up and you know, like uh, just share their point of views. So maybe that that sounds like a good idea, actually, because obviously, yeah, so many physios are there in Mumbai. If we all meet, then. It will be a great event for all of us. Yes, sir. So, do not care if there is a place to meet. So, definitely we will think about it. Yes, sir. ठीक है. Yes. And somebody is asking your channel's name, Vibha. Vibha Rai Bakar. It's my full name. <laughs> Perfect. And you will see that in uh, I will provide the link of her channel also in this live session. So you will find it from there also. Or you just type her name and you will get her channel. Yeah. 
All right, guys, and thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, Viva, for joining this session and initiating this session. Perfect, it was. See you soon with the topic of admission process and uh, good best colleges in uh, for physiotherapy. All right. Yes. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Yes. Night.